Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is the third video for the Shopify app uh, using uh, Node.js. So to follow up uh, on the last video, uh, we were able to create products. So I'm going to remove this. So, so far, when you click create product, uh, it's going to create a product. But before I show you that, I'm going to show you just what this page has, what code does it have. And it's pretty simple, just two buttons and a script. So when you click on click, we're going to create and we're going to pass the store name. And this is a JavaScript that will run when you click on it. So we are doing an Ajax and here we're saying to our app, you know, do a post and pass the shop and create a product. So what that is, it's right here. I'm going to go down here, post, create product. So as you can see, this is what Shopify wants us to do. I think this was covered on the second video. But just to go over it again, this is what you need to submit to Shopify to create a product. And here is our object. This is just for logging, obviously. And this is our uh, endpoint that we're going to hit. And this is the options. So as you can see, you need to pass uh, the URL, post, the method, the headers. That's your token for your store. And then this is something new that I just added it today. So body, that's where the your product is going to be at. And then you do your post from request using that library. So that's all it will do right now. So if I go back to the store, as you can see, there's no products. So I'm going to click create product. And this is my developer uh, dev store. It's not real, just something I just made up. So as you can see, it came back as good. So if we look in our debug, um, it came back and it said it created a product. And as you can see, Shopify is returning back an object. So we'll check if this actually worked. So I'm going to refresh the page. And we should have a product at least. So as you can see, Dell laptop with 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, that's what I said. And we got HTML here. I think that's about it. That's all that I assigned, the basic. So that's what I did <clears throat> over here. So you can see there were some tags. So let's see the tags. Tags are here. So that worked. Product uh, type, the vendor, that all works. So as you can see, this part of the code is working fine. Make sure you uh, do a pull on your Git before you even try this because some stuff have changed so make sure you do a pull or merge any changes you've done on your own for that part so now for this part uh is the v products i don't think i showed you on the previous video about this but basically when you click v products what's going to happen is we're going to do another ajax call to products page and this one is a get so that one is right here so this is our get products same thing pretty basic same thing over here for the options and we're just going to return it back so i hit view we get back one array with one product from shopify so if we add another one, obviously if we click create product, it's gonna create another one just like this. So what I'm gonna do is for testing, obviously I'm gonna stop the debugging and I'll just add a two here. And add that to make it diff different. Now start the debugger again. Obviously, you can use Notman, so you don't have to re restart your debugging, but that's how I'm doing it. 
So I'm going to click Create Product. That one was created. View Products. Now we have two. And uh, one we just did has two in the title, two, and then I fire at the end. So hopefully this video will help you out on your uh, creating uh, Shopify apps. I'll be creating more videos in the near future. And the source code is on GitHub. Make sure you find the source code on under Cafe SP Shopify app Node.js. Thank you for watching.